Hurting Hero by Angel Demonic Wolf on AO3. Read by Lily6645. This fic includes violence, panic attacks, and abuse. That is your warning. Chapter 4. Author's Note. Guys, I am so sorry for those who are waiting for a chapter. I will work on it soon, but things have been getting in the way at the moment. That is the end of chapter 4. On to the next chapter. Chapter 5. The Attack. Summary. From Izuku's point of view of the day he ended up in the hospital, and more. Izuku went to school like any other day. He was in his school uniform for Aldera Junior High. He knew that Pakugo would most likely bully him for from something stupid. Since Izuku had mut- mutation of sorts for a quirk, the same thing with his older brother. But normally, he would be made fun of for it, but he was so tired of it. So today, when he got to class, Izuku paid no mind to Bakugo and his friends. The fact that he didn't use his quirk much, he didn't know how much powerful it was when he was angry. Though, when a classmate Bakugo slammed his hand on in his table, Izuku activated his quirk. Universal mind shutdown. The moment everyone was unable to do anything, Izuku moved and punched Bakugo hard in the face. He was so tired which made his quirk effects wear off quicker. Due to that, Bakugo and his two friends jumped Izuku at the same time. Izuku tried to fight back, but unfortunately, his mind was struggling to keep up with what was going on. He fainted while being punched by three people. Izuku was in and out of consciousness, while the three boys assaulted him and used their own quirks on him. During the whole time, Izuku could feel most of the explosions hit him, and knew that no one was stopping them. He had been dealing with being called weak, villainous, control freak, and dangerous. Bakugo would also make sure that Izuku knew he was nothing. But the next thing Izuku knew was that EMS was around him, mentioning, mentioning how bad he looks and how him breathing is amazing. Izuku opened his eyes, but couldn't see through the blood that covered his eyes and face. He could feel the signs of consciousness and a migraine coming off on, which was going to be uncomfortable. A few hours later, he could feel that he was no longer in surgery for the broken bones, and the issue of internal bleeding, but he couldn't move or open his eyes. He could hear his family arguing, his brother telling their parents that he would fight for custody over Izuku. He didn't know long he had been in the hospital. When he next heard Shota speak, I miss you. I went to court yesterday. I got custody of you. I will make sure you are cared for now. The school 
apparently expelled the boys that did this to you. Me and Hisashi are waiting for you to wake up. Hey, little listener. We are waiting. But don't feel rushed to wake up. Hisashi's voice sounded like present Mike. That is the end of chapter 5 of Hurting Hero by Angel Demonic Wolf on AO3. Thank you so much for listening. If you like this, please go support the original author. Link in the description.